Rufus Phantom. Who was the mysterious figure in red that is stalking Archie? Can Archie find out before Christmas in Riverdale is ruined? Or will Archie and Riverdale fall victim to the horror of the Christmas Phantom? Mr. Bailey, there's nothing down here to be frightened of, unless you count the Christmas phantom, that is. <laughs> mm. But of course, everyone knows the Christmas phantom is no more real than Santa Claus. What are you talking about, Mr. Lodge? What Christmas phantom? You haven't heard the story? Thirty years ago, on Christmas Eve, the large department store burned to the ground, leaving only this very basement intact. Some say it's haunted. The mystery is, the store Santa Claus vanished that very same night. Chris Nicholas was his name. Rumor has it, he's the Christmas Phantom. I ask you, Mr. Bailey, have you ever heard such superstitious nonsense before in your life? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, sir. Now, let's find that Santa Claus suit. Surprise! The costume's in here. Come on, the kids are waiting. Now, don't open my gift until Christmas morning, Mr. Weatherby. How much longer is it going to take Archie to finish up? This is taking forever. Boy, I love Christmas. What? No snow yet? Oh, well, maybe later. It always snows in time for Christmas in Riverdale. We've been waiting 45 minutes for you, Archie. I just had to make sure everybody at Riverdale High got their gifts. And you mean everybody. What can I say? I like Christmas. Big huh? deal. We all like Christmas. Especially all the presents we'll be getting. And all that delicious Christmas food. And all the babysitting money I'll make when all those moms and dads go Christmas shopping. Don't forget all those bargains in the after Christmas sales. But what about spending quality time with friends and family? Face it, Arch. Everyone knows the best thing about Christmas is the eats. What about the spirit of giving? It's fun to get, too. Admit it, Archie, there's got to be something you really want for Christmas. Come on, fess up. What did you ask Santa to get you this year? Well... I knew it. I really wanted to start off the new year with a fantastic weird mystery for my column. Christmas is almost here, and so far Santa hasn't come through with anything. The poor boy has Christmas and weird mysteries on the brain. 
Oh, Archikins, all this talk of giving must mean you're about to buy me a really expensive gift for Christmas, right? Uh, well, actually, I'm broke. I spent all my money on gifts for Mr. Weatherby and the others at school. Huh? Andrews, you're hopeless. You lavish gifts on them. <laughs> but you're going to neglect me? Hmm. What do you want? Oh, hi, Daddy. Veronica, my Santa Claus just flipped out and quit on me. He said the Christmas tree attacked him. Do you know any suckers, uh, responsible teenagers that need to make some chump change this Christmas? Oh, do I? But make sure you tell him about the tree thing first. It's for you, Archikins. Hello? Really? I'll be right there. Thanks, Mr. Lodge. Looks like there's a Santa Claus after all. Mr. Lodge is a really weird mystery for me. Oh, and he offered me a job, too. I start right now. Archie, Christmas is our most profitable time of the year. I can't take a chance on having the customers frightened off. I'm trusting you to get to the bottom of this weird mystery. You can count on me, sir. I'll be the best undercover operative you've ever had. I'd rather you be the best Santa I've ever had. Tis the season to make money, you know. All uh, right. So this is the homicidal pine tree? Yes, this is the conifer that supposedly attacked Mr. Bailey. Or at least that's what he said when he quit. Funny how no one saw it happen except him. But you're used to things like that, right, Andrews? Absolutely. Weird mysteries are us, sir. Good, because whatever happens, you have to stay calm and keep the kids happy. Speaking of which... You don't look too dangerous to me. Now behave yourself. Children are counting on me. Let's give it a try. Ho, ho, ho! What do you want for Christmas, little boy? This is going to be a lot of fun. Ho, ho, ho! Come, children, Santa is waiting. <laughs> this has been the most profitable shopping day in the Lodge Department Store's history. Well, Archie, you did much better than I expected. And I see the Christmas tree kept its branches to itself. <laughs> yeah, I think that Bailey fellow made it all up. You know, Mr. Lodge, I can't believe how greedy kids are these days. Christmas is supposed to be about good cheer. <sighs> what am I going to be like after a whole Christmas season of this? Lodge Department Store, Santa speaking. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Why, hello, Santakins. I hope you're bringing me plenty of gifts this year. Oh, hi, Veronica. Ho, ho, ho. Hello there, little boy. You're still going to be able to make it to the Christmas Eve party tonight, aren't you? We're going to be closing in five minutes. I'll come over as soon as I'm done here. Please don't do that. Santa bruises easily. Attention shoppers, the Lodge Department Store is now closed for business. Be sure to drop by for our special after Christmas sale. Have a wonderful Christmas tomorrow, little fellow. <sighs> Must have dozed off. Oops, almost forgot the presents I got for everyone. Great, someone turned off the lights. I can't see a thing. Wonderful. I'm stuck here overnight. Wait a minute. The store is closed tomorrow. I'll be trapped here till after Christmas. What's that? 
Now I'm hearing things. It can't get any worse than this. I have all the luck. I'm going to spend all of Christmas inside this department store. Wait a minute. What am I thinking? I can just make a phone call for help. The line is dead. Everyone's going to be so busy eating and opening presents, they won't even notice I'm gone. What are you guys doing in here? They're about to bob for apples on the veranda. We're waiting for Archie to show up. Uh, he's probably running late. Come on, Jughead, there's plenty of food on the buffet tables. No, not yet. I always wait for Archie to make his Christmas toast. Then I eat. It's a Christmas tradition for me. What about you, Veronica? Lots of presents under the tree waiting for you. Oh, half the fun is Archikin's watching me open the presents. He enjoys that so much. <sighs> Make room for me. You're right. Christmas just isn't the same without Archie. There's got to be some way to get out of here. Huh? Huh? I don't know what is going on here, but I'm going to find out. Ugh! Oh well, here goes nothing. Welcome, Margie Andrews. We've been <gasps> waiting for you. Please join us. I don't think so. <gasps> On second thought, don't mind if I do. There's no answer at Archie's house. I'm really beginning to get worried. Veronica, dear, how did you convince Archie to not sing all those Christmas carols out of key this year? Actually, Archie hasn't shown up yet. Too bad. I hate to admit it, but I was actually beginning to enjoy those lousy carols. I guess they grow on you. He's not at home, either. I could have sworn everyone was out of the store when I locked up. Daddy, I'm really worried. We need to go look for Archikins. I think you're right. I suppose Archie is just like all those Christmas carols he sings. Really annoying, but you miss him when he's not around. Come on, everyone. Archie needs us. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Ow! Who are you? You can call me the Christmas Phantom. According to legend, I was once known as Chris Nicholas, the large department store's Santa Claus, 30 years ago. Just like you were this year's Santa. It was a good life until tragedy struck, forcing me to wear huh? this mask and hide myself from mortal eyes. Since then, I have watched as Christmas changed into a holiday of greed and selfishness. For the past few days, I've watched and marveled at your patience and generosity and warmth. You alone still possess the true spirit of Christmas, Archie Andrews. Thanks, but it really isn't that big a deal. And modest, too. The only one in Riverdale. Riverdale! Bah! Riverdale doesn't deserve Christmas! That's a little harsh. No, it isn't. That's why I'm going to take Christmas away from Riverdale. Really? And how are you going to do that? With this book of spells that helped me bring all these inanimate objects to life. I'll have them take every trace of Christmas from Riverdale. Not if I can find a spell to stop you. Ugh. And I thought you, of all people, would understand, Archie Andrews. Bring him to...
to me. is find the spell to change that Christmas tree and those toy robots back to normal. Huh? Sapling? I said you were big for a sapling. Really? storm last Christmas and the phone lines went down? Archie found an old ham radio so I could talk with my sister on the holiday. Christmas just isn't the same without Archie. We're beginning to realize that. can stop me from taking Christmas from Riverdale. Please don't do this. Sure, maybe a lot of people have forgotten what Christmas is really about, but there's always a chance that they will remember. So, what's your point? Don't you see? If we take away Christmas, you take away any hope that people might one day respect it more. Isn't that what Christmas is really all about? Hope? Hope, huh? Okay, Archie Andrews, I'll make you a deal. You give up your Christmas, and the rest of Riverdale can keep theirs. We'll see how serious you are about this. You mean... That's right. No presents to give, no presents to get. You'll spend Christmas alone, while everyone else has a good time. What do you say? Do we have a deal? But I keep the book. Sure. Consider it a present. Read it sometime. It's a classic. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. He tricked me. Christmas never was in danger. At least he unlocked the door. There he is! Archikins! We've looked everywhere. You guys were looking for me instead of enjoying the Christmas Eve party? I'm sorry I ruined your Christmas Eve. Hey, buddy, knowing you're safe makes it a good Christmas. Good to have you back, pal. We're just glad you're okay. We missed you, Archikins. Mm -hmm. Huh? My turn. Huh? Mm -hmm. Wait, I left my presents in the store. I'll be right back. Hurry up. I am hosting a party, you know. And if you want to sing any of those Christmas carols of yours, I won't complain. Wow, I'll have to get lost more often. I gotta know. Don't expect me to believe that you're the real Santa Claus. Archie, you believe in ghosts, werewolves, aliens, and monsters. Why is it so hard to believe the real Santa Claus would come to Riverdale? But 
Why here? Someone needed a Christmas lesson. Me? Oh, no. You're fine. It was your friends who needed a reminder of what is really important about Christmas. A Christmas Eve without you did the trick. Then why all the scary stuff? The Christmas Phantom and Chris Nicholas and a spooky tree and the robots. Don't you remember? You asked for a really weird mystery for Christmas. You have to admit, this was a good one. The mysterious phantom of the department store stealing Christmas in Riverdale. Yeah, now that you mention it, it was a really great weird mystery. Thanks. Hey, does Santa deliver or what? Well, I've got my list and I've got to go. It's a work night. Here, let us help you with those. It's snowing. This is going to be a perfect Christmas. There's nothing wrong with gifts and a big fancy dinner. But the best thing about the holiday season is sharing time with your loved ones, making someone smile with your generosity, and appreciating all the fine people in your life. That's something I always try to remember when I celebrate Christmas in a little town called Riverdale. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Do do do. 